Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Dogs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. I hope you enjoyed that intro. It was a submission by a friend of mine named Levi. He goes by the online alias of Levo or Levo. Um, and uh, I might be using that intro for the next couple of videos. Now, in this video itself, we're going to be making a report command. I've noticed that a lot of people have been wanting report commands recently. However, the tutorials they've been using are a little bit iffy and uh, outdated. So what we're going to do is we're going to remake these report command and uh, kind of spice it up a little bit. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing we want to add is we want to add the mention or grab user. I say mentioned or grab because we can use a mention of the user or we can use their ID. Now, obviously you can do a lot more than that. You can add their tag, username, anything like that, but we're not going to do that in our tutorial series or we might update it and add a few of these things in episode 20. Now, so we want to call this target and then we're going to do equals message dot mentions dot members members dot first and that will grab the first mentioned user and we're going to use an or operator if you don't know what operators are i've told you in previous episodes to go check them out because they are absolutely amazing just go check them out um and then we want to do message dot guild dot members dot get and then we want to add args zero in here uh, and that will grab the first argument in the message content array because we split that up with a space in between. Now, th then we want to do let reason equal args dot args dot split no args dot slice one. And then we want to join that array with a space in between. And now, obviously. We want to add a if statement because if they don't provide a or actually it's probably a good idea to add an if statement here as well if there isn't a target provided we will return the code and say message.channel.send please provide a valid user now what we can do here is we can just do message delete to delete their message anyways even if they manage to fail so we're going to do dot then and then m dot delete and then we'll say after 15 seconds seems all right and then what we're going to do is we're going to move that down here and obviously change this to reason um if i can spell reason right and then we do please provide a reason for reporting and actually what we can do is we can just do this and then we can uh, we can do target and because targets and uh, the guild member object we can change it to a user because it has a user property we can add the tag now what we can do is just bold it and then that should be that and then what we want to do is we want to grab a reports channel so I reckon what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here um, just for this tutorial i think I'll, I'll make a new channel i'll call it reports and then what we can do is we just remove that bam and then uh, just for the sake of this what we'll do is we'll use the um we'll use find instead of get now i prefer get because you can change the name of the channel whenever um just because you're trying to find a channel via the id um but just for this video uh we'll, we'll obviously use find message.guild.channels.find and then we want to look for the property of name and then the value is tut dash reports and then after all that we can do s channel dot send then what we want to do here is we want to say message dot author dot username has reported and then target dot user dot tag actually we'll change this to tag just to get rid of any uh misunderstandings and then we'll add the syntax in here again has reported blah blah for and then we can do 
We can put this in the bolt as well. Reason. Bam. Full stop. Oh, sorry. This is meant to go down here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some reactions in here. So dot then. And then we want to do probably pass message or some form of that. And then we want to do await message dot react. And then find the unicode of the reaction. So what we're going to do is we're just going to testing here. And I think it's just tick or it's a, we'll, we'll look for the cross first. I think it's just this, right? Yep. Right. So what we want to do is if you guys don't know how to get Unicode emojis in Discord, you add a backslash. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab that, come back here, come back here. And we're actually going to add it below because we want it to be the second emoji to be added and then we want I forget what it is I think it's green tick or something like that approve no uh, green nope actually we can just go into here real quick and it is called check mark that would be the last thing I would have checked so we want to do um, check mark bam and then backspace and it will give us that then we want to put that in to there and then that should work all nice and dandy so before i start up the bot what i'm going to do is i've just added this here this basically means it will send a message in the chat saying that it has been reported also what i forgot to mention is if you want the staff team to probably react as fast as possible you can add up add everyone here I'm not going to do that for the sake of this because I don't want to tag everyone who can see the uh, reports top channel or whatever. Um, but yeah, let's start up the bot. Right, so that bad boy is started up. What we're going to do is we're going to go into here. We're going to go dun dun report and we're going to report Duncan bot. And then we're going to say for the purpose of testing this command. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to wait here. Four. I just realized I got two instances open, uh, which which is why it's sent twice, by the way. Um, but we're going to wait here for another 10 seconds or so. Whilst you're there, check out the Twitter. It's on screen right now. And check out the website. You know, these are amazing things. So um, that one's not going to delete because I just closed that instance. Um, but yeah, so the reason I've got these uh, reactions here, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, is because... Um, you don't want like all your staff checking one report you want someone to just click on say they've done it and um, Yeah, and if um, someone's saying they don't have time to do it bam They click that one and then obviously that means that they it's, it's the process of elimination on who can do what so that is the end of this tutorial if you want to find this code it will be on the github within the next day to five years or so um, the reason I take mildly wrong to put the code on github is because one i'm a little bit lazy when it comes to it and two it's because i really want people to go through the tutorials and copy the code themselves so they can understand it themselves i'm a true believer in if you write something out you understand it a lot better than just copy and pasting and hoping it works now if you guys don't know and haven't followed the twitter in episode 20 there will be a massive remake of all the uh, code that we have and basically just some process of elimination and making the code a lot better than what it is so stay tuned for episode 20 there's going to be a new command handler um, a new layout for the command files um, a working event handler and the index.js is going to be literally 10 lines long if i can find it so at the moment it's 55 lines long just imagine it being 10 lines long because there is going to be absolutely nothing in this file. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. The next video is going to be an Evo command. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Connie here from Menu Docs. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.